Welcome back. In our previous video, we showed you how to set up the BACnet client connection. Today, we'll focus on integrating BACnet tags into our data model. There are two methods, the intuitive drag and drop feature, which automatically fills in settings, or manual configuration for a more hands-on approach. If you prefer the manual method, detailed instructions can be found in our knowledge base. To add tags to our data model, I'll open the BACnet browser in Neuron. After selecting the device, I'll click on Rebrowse to view a list of objects within the device. Navigating through the device, I'll locate the temperature indoor folder. To add it to the model section, I'll simply drag the entire folder and drop it into the desired location, such as the root folder. I'll also include the temperature outdoor and temperature set point for room 1, named set point 1. If needed, this process can be repeated for other tags or the entire data model from the room controller. Since the set point 1 present value should be a command, I'll configure this tag's client access setting to read write, allowing me to write a new value for this tag. Additionally, I'll check that the properties of this tag are correct. Next, let's move to the data section and go to the real time tab. I'll check the sublevels checkbox and select the root folder to view the entire data model. Then I'll open the room controller 01 device visual interface. Here I can confirm that the set point 1 present value, temperature indoor, and temperature outdoor present values are displayed with the same values as in the real time screen in Neuron. To demonstrate a real use case of controlling room temperature, I'll write a new set point value for room 1 by selecting set point 1's present value. For this example, I'll set it to 18 degrees and observe the temperature decreasing to reach the new set point. Now let's create a tag from scratch. First, I'll delete the existing group folders. Then, I'll recreate the group folder for temperature indoor and add a tag for the present value, representing the current value for temperature indoor. Let's set the present value tag to the number type. In the source configuration, I'll enable the source and choose BACnet client as the module type from the drop down menu. Additionally, remember to select BACnet client as the module name, as we named it earlier. Next, I'll enter the device property for our BACnet device, which includes the channel name, a forward slash, and the device name. For the type, I'll select analog input as the object type. The instance or object instance will be set to zero, and the property identifier will be set to present value. I'll also choose from device as the right priority. Remember, you can further configure the right priority at the tag level if needed. You can use the BACnet browser shortcut at any time to select a tag and automatically populate the configuration properties. Now, I'll save the settings. Neuron notifies me that the right priority mode is set to from tag and the tag path is empty. So I'll switch this setting back to from device and save the settings again. Once these settings are configured, I'll move to the data section and go to the real time tab. Great. The tag reading for temperature indoors present value is displayed correctly and with good quality. However, there's a noticeable delay between when the value changes and when it's read. This is because BACnet operates as a request response protocol. To address this, I'll adjust the scan rate until the readings are more timely. I could also set a dead band in the tag configuration to only update the tag with significant changes in the actual value. But I'll leave it as default for now. That's it. We've completed the setup for the BACnet client module video series. Thank you for joining, and I'll see you in the next video.